Good Counsel campus is one of the jewels of our city. It's so beautiful. The chapel itself with its field stone construction is so unique from the exterior. But when you come inside, you really are struck by just how special it really is. The chapel speaks to every member as our center. Coming to Good Council is like coming to my second home. It's the place that we gather in joy and in sorrow. In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, our Sunday Eucharist is another way that we try to share our spirituality. I was baptized and confirmed in this chapel. And on Sundays when I come back here for Mass, it's a true coming home. The night my husband proposed to me, the first thing I thought about you know, after I said yes was not, oh, let me call my parents, let me call you know, everybody else and tell them. It was, let me call Sister Ellen so I can get this chapel booked. This chapel has such history. It is charged with the energy of the founders. Their presence is here, and so it makes it a hallowed spot. This chapel was begun in 1895, and it was designed by our very own foundress, Mother Mary Veronica Starr, who sketched the original designs for the chapel. This chapel has become, through the years, a cultural center for the city of White Plains. Many people come to concerts that are held in the chapel. Many people come to services that are held in the chapel. There is a huge statue of our Lord with his arms extended. And that, to me, was always a very welcoming presence. I am quite sure that coming to this chapel nurtured my vocation. I would go to the stained glass window here, and I had the feeling of being in the presence of Christ. The stained glass windows were not intact when Mother Veronica died, but after her death, when the community was able to afford to purchase them, it was determined that the face of Veronica, wiping the face of Jesus, would be that of Mother Mary Veronica, because that's who she was. That was why the community was founded. One of the pieces in the church that I really have been inspired by over the years is the picture of Our Lady of Good Counsel. When we were in high school, uh, we were taught to turn to her if we needed guidance, to pray to her. And so every time I came into the chapel, I would do that. Behind and below the altar, we have a crypt. When Monsignor Preston, the co-founder, died, Mother Mary Veronica brought his remains here in the, a beautiful catafalque, which closely resembles Napoleon's tomb. On her death, the sisters also buried her in the crypt. Many of the early sisters are buried there, as well as some of the early benefactors to the community. The casual visitor coming to the chapel might look around and say, what, why do you need to be raising money? Uh, the chapel looks fine as it is, but there's more to it than meets the eye. The crypt has experienced serious water damage. The water that collects on top of the crypt is no longer running off of the crypt. It penetrates and comes into the crypt. So part of the project will be excavating and providing a new roofing and waterproofing around the, the crypt building itself. We also sent a camera through the underground piping to analyze the entire system, and we found several breaches. It's important to keep the water away from the foundation to keep the building stabilized. All buildings fall apart. Everything that we put together on Earth has an end life. What we seek to do is to maintain those buildings that we love and that are so dear to us for as long as possible. Every religious congregation holds its founders in great respect. And this place was so dear to Mother Foundress that it's unthinkable that we would not work 
to preserve it for posterity. I think Mother Veronica would urge us to do what we've always done, and, and that is to step out into the unknown and make a difference. The Sisters of the Divine Compassion are such an important element in our community. So many of you have told us through the years how much your relationship with the Sisters has had an impact on your life and how much it has meant to you. We remember you and we want you to be with us in this undertaking. They're maintaining something that's an asset to everyone in our city and so I would encourage people to support them in their goal of preserving this real work of art. It would be a loss to the city of White Plains. I love working with the Sisters because I feel like we share a soul. Deep in their heart, the Sisters have the goal of environmental stewardship, to leave our environment better than we found it. It was just such a nice way to return home and to share the sacrament of marriage in one of the most special places that I ever experienced in my life. I hope that for many generations, people will come to this chapel for prayer and peace. The sisters in our congregation are so grateful for the many, many people who support us by their donations, by their generosity, and we pray for them every day. We remember not only you, but your children and your grandchildren, because they're a part of the Good Council, Sisters of Divine Compassion family. Now we need your help. We sisters cannot do this by ourselves. We ask you to be with us and help in this undertaking to restore this Chapel of the Divine Compassion.